Anthony Belford here from the SMB Nation uh, family of companies, including Office 365 Nation, Telefonation, and of course SMB Nation itself. It's our Thursday webinar. I'm coming to you from the heart of Microsoft today. I'm out at their Bellevue Lincoln Square facility, um, quite frankly, attending the Microsoft Hosting and Cloud Summit. So always a pleasure to have a conversation with you. Today in particular is very interesting because we are launching the Fall Conference in capital D. Um, and we're going to talk about that. Uh, Heather in the control room will be doing the driving. So Heather, go ahead and scroll down uh, to some of the first talking points. Um, basically what we're saying with the Fall Conference is in Redmond, uh, we want to talk about Office 365, Windows 10, and Azure. So those are our pillars. And I guess I feel that when you're making a decision on which professional conference to attend, you know, I'm of the belief everybody should attend uh, a couple, uh, a couple professional conferences per year just to stay current and uh, get away from the office and expand your thinking. We certainly want to be one of those, but we want you to understand exactly the conversation we're having, and it's uh, 365, Office 365, Windows 10, and Azure. And I've got the uh, main presenters on this uh, webinar today. So I'm going to interview them about what their intentions are. Heather, if you could give me some of the uh, the learning wins uh, that I want to have people come away with. Um, when you go to our site, so <laughs> you're going to want to go to fall2015.smbnation.com, and you're going to want to study the site, absolutely study the site, and review the learning wins. And what we've tried to do is uh, have a high degree of relevancy. So I think that's what makes for a good conference is that, you know, guys, technically speaking, this is the 13th year of the fall conference in one way, shape, or form. But we're always innovating. We're always creating. A couple of you will remember a few years ago we had a, a conference focused on uh, telecom when that made sense. Um, some of you wouldn't have been part of the family back then. So we have the pillars, and this is what we're all about. Heather, let's go down to the next set of talking points. Um, not only are we covering the pillars of Office 365, Windows 10, and Azure, but as always, uh, there's business speak that's woven in, so business models. Um, and that applies to everybody. So whether you're an MSP or an IT pro, uh, we are in the business. It's a business. That's kind of why we're here, and you need to have uh, a fair, fair amount of business acumen. The peer networking, which to me is, is what it's all about, uh, you know, something I probably wouldn't say in public, but I guess this is a public webinar, is there's conferences I go to where that's all I do, is I'm there for the networking, the professional relationships and the networking. I was a very bad student in grade school and high school, and unfortunately some days that still continues. So it's, it's for me, that should almost be the first point, is the peer networking. Um, who should attend? So we'll talk about that. The, who should attend? I, I want to emphasize IT professionals. And they come from different walks of life. So it could very well be people from the enterprise, government, and education. Uh, it could be uh, from our beloved SMB sector, MSPs, technology professionals, technology consultants, business consultants. So. I want to give a, a shout out to Todd down in Miami, who at the end of the day is a business consultant. He uses technology to further his business consulting goals. Um, he spoke a few years ago on OneNote and some other things. And then finally, the inner geeks and all of us. Uh, Heather, let's go back up to the, uh, to the top and kind of do a quick show and tell and then have a chit chat with some of the attendees. Heather, let's go to registration. The registration page is where it all begins. Um, and we're trying to use a fairly modern interface so you know where to go, how to get there, and how to sign up. Pretty self-explanatory. And remember, our staff is always just a phone call away to help you with registration. Heather, let's go over to the next uh, top-level menu item. I'm going to talk about the schedule. Here's what I want to highlight for the purposes of this webinar, is that technically the conference is October 2nd through the 4th. That's the core, uh, the core conference. However, uh, the pre-day on October 1st is always popular. 
Um, uh, Carl Palachek has already agreed to present uh, his content for a pre-day. We'll have one or two sponsors present content, et cetera. So always important to think about attending the pre-day. Uh, the fourth this year will essentially be, so October 4th, will essentially be repeat Sunday. Um, I, we're we're going to message that a little stronger later, but it allows you to think about if you need to get home sooner rather than later, um, Sunday may or may not be a fit for you, but quite frankly, I think it is because we repeat the most popular sessions using an online surveying program that people can vote on the sessions of their choice, and we have those people uh, repeat on Sunday because of time conflicts and missing a lecture. And then the fifth is the proverbial bike ride around Bainbridge Island. Next menu, please, Heather. Hotel and travel. Uh, it, it, it defines itself, but suffice it to say, you'd, you'd be surprised how we go above and beyond to help people schedule their hotel, schedule their hotel, and schedule their travel. Heather, let's move on over to the next section, please. The speakers. Uh, well, we'll actually uh, come back to that page in a minute where the speakers are uh, indeed being listed. Um, uh, sponsors, uh, Heather, click over on sponsors quickly. Um, we do have sponsorship opportunities uh, available. We appreciate the support from the community. If you are a sponsor or would like to refer a sponsor in who can benefit from uh, interacting with the community, let us know. We have an FAQ page, of course, that answers frequent questions and the proverbial about page. Heather, let's go back to speakers. I'm going to interview some of our speakers. And I see, there she is. There she <laughs> is in row two. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie, longtime friend of the SMB Nation family, currently on tour with us on our 0365 uh, uh, Nation workshop tour. You're just about to get on the plane for a week in China. Congratulations for your gig. Yeah. Um, please introduce yourself and ma'am, what is your story at the fall conference? What are you trying to talk about and do? Sure, so thanks and a, a big hello to everyone and, and for being on this call and for listening to it after the fact on demand. So I own Center Point Solution, which is a tech firm. But then separate to that, I'm also known as the Microsoft Princess um, that has lots of listeners from all around the world of getting latest education on Microsoft products. So yes, I have been one of the speakers on the 365 tour and am so excited to see all of the faces that are out there and can't wait to see everyone at Fall Conference because we're expanding it uh, this year to include not just Office 365, but also to cover Windows 10 and to cover Azure. And I'll be sprinkling uh, sessions of those along with Office 365 around throughout our time together at the conference. So it really is an exciting time with all of the new products that will be out. Windows 10 will be out by then. There'll be a lot more on Azure to be talking about. There's a rebranding of uh, Link for, or Link is now being rebranded as Skype for Business that is going to be available to learn all about. So there's so much new technology to engage in and play around with, and, and what a great conference to learn from. So I'll be helping out with some of those sessions and speaking at the fall conference on them. Excellent. Thank you very much. Heather, let's go back to the main speaker page, and I'm going to call on Anora uh, Moby. Nora, you've spoken uh, at our conferences in the past. This goes back to the Windows 8 launch. Um, which I think we're all ready to, with all due respect, put behind us and, and have a conversation about Windows 10. Um, <laughs> sir, who are you and what is your story at Fall? Sure. My, my name is Laura Moby and um, I am the editor and founder of Windows10Update.com. And uh, I have an enterprise IT background. I've been working on enterprise projects, SAP, PeopleSoft, ERP, ERP projects for um, a long time and uh, electronic <laughs> record management, etc. So we started working on um, Windows 10 a long time ago and covering, the, uh, covering Windows 10. Probably about five, six months ago, we built a, a Windows 9 site and <laughs> there never was a Windows 9, so we started covering Windows 10 and we've been, had a, a lot of people coming to the site. We have a lot of listeners, about 250,000 <laughs> altogether. 
And I'm excited about the conference. I'm excited, excited about um, coming out and meeting the people and, and talking about Windows 10, the, the ecosystem, how it connects to Azure, et cetera. And it's, it's going to be a fun time. No, I totally agree. And I, I, I would offer it's the, the new Windows XP, Windows 7, Win95 in terms of the popularity cycle. You know, put the bits aside. Hey, Anora, if, if you were to give one nugget, um, I, I, you know, you're the guy that said, well, the entire three-day conference could be Windows 10. And, <laughs> of course. And I, and I get that. Um, may, maybe one nugget. What, 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 what is one specific area you want to talk about? I think, I think you were talking to me about Surface Hub. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. There, there are a bunch of um, areas I think we're going to uh, touch at the conference. Um, the Surface Hub is one, and some of the opportunities to expand and sell and uh, into the enterprise. But the, I think the overwhelmingly, <coughs> the, the thing I'm most excited about is Windows 10 of the Internet of Things. I think that's going to be a massive opportunity for for Microsoft going forward, for resellers, for IT professionals, um, just in terms of the share scale and scope of the opportunity. So um, it's going to be really fascinating and. It's going to be a lot of fun explaining um, Microsoft's new direction and the transformation of Windows going from an application to a platform, so or Windows as a service. So that'll be fun. Very cool. Let's call on the hostess, the hoster with the mostess. Grant Thompson, sir, are you here today? Yes, Harry, I'm here. All right. How'd you like that? The the hoster with the <laughs> trying to play off an old childhood <laughs> phrase. <laughs> Host, hostess with the mostest, right? There you go. Um, um, introduce yourself, sir, and what is your story at Paul? Sure. Um, you know, you can read a little bit about my background on there. Been in cloud uh, as a hosting partner with Microsoft since 2003. Um, and I'm really excited about things that are coming up, obviously, with Windows 10. Um, the continuing conversation with Office 365, uh, but mostly about how uh, Azure is going to be playing into um, the role of the SMB IT Pro and MSPs and users. Uh, Windows 10's new security uh, mechanism is really reviving the identity story. I think that's huge around uh, Azure AD, and so I'm really excited to be talking about how um, cloud services as a whole, um, including all of those things and incorporating Microsoft's new OS, are going to change the, the face once again of how we compute and how to leverage that in your businesses to generate revenue. Very cool. Thank you, Grant. Always a pleasure to have you on board. Um, so let's go to the man down under, Robert Crane. Robert, so first of all, thank you for getting up. At, I believe it must be 4 a.m. your time for a West Coast uh, webinar today to help launch fall. So, uh, sir, what time is it? What's your story? And who are you? Um, it's way too early. That's what time it is here, Harry, I'll tell you. But uh, still enjoyable to get up and uh, be with you and, and talking to everybody. I think that um, a lot of people do uh, are familiar with me from my blog and the work that I do in the SharePoint space. I run a consulting business in the cloud um, have been for a long time now down here in Sydney, Australia. The focus, I think, the thing that excites me about the fall conference is now just the range of opportunities. We're looking at moving the opportunity for um, attendees beyond just the standard you know, email and those sort of things which they're doing. We're looking to extend it into things like Azure, which has been mentioned, Windows 10, we've got Power BI, you've got potentially dynamic CRM. Um, and again, the idea is is to give them the opportunities to see this, to be able to take it to their business and skill them up in a way that's going to give them a competitive advantage out there in the marketplace. So uh, this is certainly going to give you a shortcut. There's so much opportunity, so many things to focus on. I think this is going to be the one place where people can come and actually understand, get a shortcut, get running so that when they get back to the office Monday morning, they can start selling the product and converting it into dollars. So the message I would have is that if you do attend, you're certainly going to walk away with plenty of opportunities that you're going to be able to generate revenue in many different areas, which I don't think there has been that sort of opportunity for a very long time. 
Thank you, uh, Robert, and maybe uh, a shout out. By the way, highly rated speaker last year, so thanks for doing a bunch of heavy lifting, and I think you and Melanie did the night school. <laughs> And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out again. We'll weave in night school, guys. Um, so bear with us. Uh, we are launching the conference today. Sign up is available immediately. Perfect chance to make sure you get a hotel room. We actually got in really short supply last year on that. And um, just go ahead and lock it in. But Robert, what I want to ask you about, uh, one of the sessions you did with Melanie that I thought really resonated uh, in, in, in some way, shape, or form, we're going to do it again, is the the licensing conversation, you may remember that, and uh, went, I, I believe it went into overtime. Um, I, I want to call on that as, as sort of a nugget where you're able to weave, you in particular, uh, several people on the call can kind of weave the, marry the business conversation with the technical conversation. So let's, let's, let's talk licensing. Um, you up for a redo, and, and, and what do you think about last year? Yeah, look, I think, Harry, it's one of those grey areas. It's a bit like, you know, going to Starbucks. There's so many choices now in the Office 365 space. But I think if you're a reseller looking to, to make revenue and, and, you know, work on the opportunities, there is, you know, a, a certain subset of licenses that work well for typically, you know, the MSP style client. But importantly, it's, it's you need to understand what the components include, what they don't include, and, um, you know, basically, how they can be worked with the customer. Now, if you go out to peers or other people, you'll find that there's still a huge amount of confusion about how it's licensed, remote desktop, all that sort of stuff. So if you can cut through that and basically get a cheat sheet on the licensing, then you know, you're going to save yourself hours and hours and hours of bringing that solution to a client. So again, a hugely worthwhile session and again, you'll get experience from the speakers to say, look, this works in this case, this doesn't work, this is what I'd be focusing on. And I think that's the important takeaway, as we all know we love licensing so much, but um, we really want to uh, get a shortcut and make it easy for ourselves to get out there and actually sell the product. Excellent. And a couple of shout outs. Uh, Pat, Pat Houston, are you online, sir? A couple of shout outs. And then I see we have Greg Plum. Greg, I may have given you the wrong logon link, so uh, Heather, I don't know if we can elevate Greg Plum to presenter. Greg, uh, while we're doing that or attempting to do that, I'll kind of back you up. Harry, I am. Um, oh, okay, Pat. Excellent. I was muted. Excellent. So, what are you, Pat? Go ahead and introduce yourself. We have just a couple minutes left uh, in this format, so go ahead and introduce yourself and. Um, I've asked you to take a fresh look at the business curriculum. So, so quite frankly, Pat, we don't have same old, same old. So maybe you could talk a little bit about your session. Go ahead, sir. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's so fascinating. Testing, testing. Okay. Is just as um, um, the platform is growing up, uh, as Robert just mentioned. Uh, you know, Businesses are becoming ever more sophisticated. I think the call on uh, on people in the space uh, uh, in channel is to become much more business oriented too, and business focused. Um, and so, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, is, is talk about a conference to help people understand how we can uh, use their intellectual capital more effectively to grow their own businesses. And uh, there are many, many ways now, including one that we have, for people to uh, uh, become uh, micro-consultants in a very cost-efficient, effective way, and to engage with new customers in ways that haven't been seen before. So I'll be talking about that and some things that we're doing together with Eric. Perfect. Thank you very much. Folks, if uh, you're not the uh, current presenter, let me have you go on mute just so we have uh, HD fidelity um, on the sound. Thank you. So, Greg Plum, sir, you have finally been elevated up to presenter. Congratulations. <laughs> I feel very special at the moment. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Can, can um, you hear me okay, Harry? I can't. Yeah, I can, Greg. And and we've been trying. Darn it, we've been trying forever to elevate you up to presenter. So. <laughs> Well, I appreciate this. I feel like I've been knighted. I'll take it. Exactly. 
Um, sir, what is your what is who are you and what is your story at all? What's your niche? Go ahead. And then well, we'll well at the first. moment, I'm going to be completely honest, and I'm completely jet lagged. I just took the red eye in from Vegas, so I'm not myself. So um, bear with me on that. Um, so I've been in this space for 15 years, uh, mostly on the telecom side, conferencing and collaboration, and then about two years ago. I discovered the wonderful world of Link. So I guess from in Link years, I'm pretty young. Um, but uh, I've embraced it and really focused my business, which is um, Plum UC, Unified Communications, obviously, uh, really to focus on voice options for Link and um, you know Skype for business. And I'm happy to say that last year's event was my, my inaugural, my, my initiation, and it was a spectacular event. Um, got to meet some pretty great people. Most, many of them are on the phone today, and um, I'm really excited to be a part of it. So it's, it, you know, the the actual content is is well, it's really forming because I found out about this opportunity while I was on the road, and I haven't had time to sit down to even think about how what kind of what the curriculum is going to look like. But That's I can right. tell you, it it resonates pretty well. I just came from a, a session out in uh, in in Vegas at a Channel Partners event, and everyone wants to wants to know what they can do with, uh, with the voice option. So I think it's going to go be very, very exciting and well attended. So I'm excited about it. Thank you, Greg. And I, you know, Greg, I would go as far to say uh, you're the uh, what Robert Crane last year in his speech called Robert. I, I'm going to attribute it to you, but the redheaded stepchild was that was that our speech on Link? <laughs> Why, thank you. I thank you. <laughs> so um, with that said, folks, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the webinar, and, and uh, I'll tell you why. That We wanted to make sure that we very quickly and efficiently uh, got the notification out to you, got the context out to you for the fall conference. Um, in summary, uh, what you can do starting today is you can go to fall2015.smbnation.com. Please, please, please study the site and make sure that this conference makes sense for you. I totally believe in that. Uh, you're welcome to call me personally. The contact information for our company is at the bottom of the uh, the bottom of the page. You're welcome to email the staff. But love to have you call me personally if you have any questions or concerns. Just come through the main switchboard. Uh, with that said, the core conference is October 2nd through 4th um, at Microsoft Redmond M. Uh, the pre-day is the first, which is a not miss. Uh, again, the fourth is uh, essentially a repeat day of the top sessions uh, that occurred prior to that. So you, you, you can make the travel plans for you that make the most sense. Um, and then uh, the fifth is the proverbial bike ride. With that said, we're at time. I want to thank the panelists and the speakers for joining me today. Uh, always a pleasure and taking time out of your day. The folks listening, same thing. I know you're busy. We've got a recovering economy. We're all getting busy. Um, so have a great day. We'll see you next Thursday. By the way, next Thursday is our Office 365 Nation tour in New York City. So hopefully we'll see you there. Folks, have a great day. Thank you very much.